Good morning, everybody. Guten Morgen. <laughs> um, oh. First, I, I, I've been really enjoying visiting Berlin, and I'm glad you're all able to... Uh, is there too many microphones going on? Is this okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I, I have been enjoying Berlin, and I've been enjoying the conference, and I'm glad you're all able to uh, join us this morning here uh, at the supermarket. It's great. Um, so the visual experience and how Wikipedia can evolve visually for inclusivity. The title of my um, uh, talk has changed a little bit over the course of the weekend, um, <laughs> especially after a lot of discussions I've been having. So I would also like to start this by saying this is my own personal opinion. I'm a community fellow at the Wikimedia Foundation, and um, I am working on this gender gap issue and um, this is me representing myself, uh, not the Wikimedia Foundation. So don't run around on Twitter saying the Wikimedia Foundation says this because it's what I'm saying, not Sue Gardner, not Eric, et cetera. So 9%. The past two editors' surveys as executed by the Wikimedia Foundation have shown that approximately 9% of our editors are women. Writing an, uh, writing an encyclopedia without the participation of women is very hard to describe when you are in the minority. When I, the statistics were released, I found myself, and I still do, thinking about it every time I edited or used Wikipedia. It's not comfortable being the other when I can hear myself talking in lots of strange ways. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, anyway, but when you are the other and you're attempting to provide free knowledge for all of the world, and when not all, everybody is contributing, uh, it makes you feel like this is a task that's hopeless when you're trying to provide the sum of all the world no world's knowledge for free. How can we write the sum of all the world's knowledge without a portion of half the population contributing to that knowledge? In my humble opinion, the future of Wikipedia relies on the aesthetic and some good manners. For me, Wikipedia and related projects won't continue to be as relevant as a collaborative project if we don't evolve visually. This goes beyond gender, but I do believe that as a woman thinking about how to garner the interest of women to participate in Wikipedia, design for me is a major factor. And as many of us know, Wikipedia isn't always known for its good manners. But with more gender diversity, I do believe that we can evolve to have a more welcoming and inclusive, respectful community. I hate to tell you this, but Wikipedia is ugly. I have a curatorial art background. I work in museums. I think about design, I think about look and feel and experience frequently. When I look at Wikipedia, I see an old version of the internet, a text-based, low-level version of a visual experience that just doesn't entice anymore. I see a visual experience designed by technical people for an internet that served a specific audience of the late 1990s and early 2000s. The clientele of Wikipedia has changed as the, ed as the user and as the editor. The internet and media of today is more exciting, visually stimulating, and mobile than it was when the concept of Newpedia and Wikipedia arrived. This is, in the United States at least, this is what a stereotypical Wikipedian or computer geek would be. Um, of course, we all think we're awesome when we're online, but everybody knows we just like to sit around with our computers all day. The internet and the media, again, as I said, is, is, has evolved dramatically. And when Wikipedia has failed to evolve with the internet of today, women are the majority of users of social media. Women make up 86% of the consumer market. Yes, we are an encyclopedia, but do we have to appear outdated and have technology behind us that isn't evolving as quickly as the web in which is attracting women and energetic, fresh users? A 2005 study in the UK showed that men who design websites tend to use straighter lines, less color, and more traditional fonts. Um, I actually made this PowerPoint, and I'm not too savvy with design, but when I started to create this PowerPoint, I said, gosh, it looks just like what men design. Um, go figure. Uh, it also discovered, that, even though it's made by a woman, hey, I'm, I'm not a great designer. It also, uh, it, it, the study also showed that women prefer websites made by women, and men prefer websites made by men. And while that latter fact is interesting, I do believe that uh, feminist design theory should come into play for this project of sorts, or th 
theory, proposal. Design should be pleasing for everyone. And that's what feminism is about, equality for everyone. Design should be pleasing, yet what we can learn from this concept of men versus women when it comes to design is how can we create a space, utilizing feminist design theory, that creates a space of inclusion and aesthetic while keeping our main goal in mind, creating an encyclopedia. The relation between what we see and what we know is never settled. John Berger wrote a book and did a documentary called The Way of Seeing in the 1980s um, on the BBC, where he examines the idea of, of the visual experience when you're in a museum and the visual experience of being a, being a, a watcher and being watched as a woman, um, as a nude in a painting and who is being the watcher and who's being watched and how that affects you um, as a human being. And we've been talking a lot about this um, being in Berlin this week and Germany is very different in the United States because there's a lot more acceptance of women's sexuality on advertisements and where I've been staying, I walked down an entire street of prostitutes, not intentionally, but while heading back to the hotel. And it was incredibly uh, sad and, and uncomfortable and really uh, an experience for me. And again, it's, it's really made me think a lot about this presentation and presenting it here in Berlin where it's so well known for its design and, and everyone's looking at design and people aren't looking at how people are being looked at in some capacities. Anyway, I'm digressing, but it's been a lot of things I've been thinking about since I've been here. For the past three months, I've been co-developing a project on English Wikipedia called The Tea House. The Tea House focuses on a few specific components. Clean aesthetic design that is non-traditional of Wikipedia. A support system based on a many-to-many -many system that is different than the typical and often found one-to-one -one support system on Wikipedia with, say, um, uh, adoptee programs, or maybe even IRC um, at times. And we also have a group of volunteer hosts, which consist of experienced Wikipedians who help new editors by answering questions and providing support through a friendly experience, not based on complex wiki speak and policies, which we're well known for in Wikipedia. Guests to the Tea House can create Tea House profiles, as you see here, showcasing an image of their choice Often they upload photographs of themselves, as Gavin did here, or Vicky, who uploaded an image of something from her own collection at home. Imagine creating an account on Wikipedia and receiving an invitation to visit the tea house. And seeing this, people do edit Wikipedia of all genders, and they have personalities too. But is the tea house working? This change in the layout, this inclusivity, this social, welcoming, helpful environment to encourage retention and participation? Well, it is, I think. In our three-month pilot period, we had over 400 new editors participate. 28% of those participants were women. That's obviously higher than the 9% overall average in Wikipedia. We gathered that number via a survey where Tea House visitors volunteered their gender. 33% of new editors who visited the Tea House have continued to edit Wikipedia and Tea House guests are also sticking around Wikipedia and making good contributions. They make 10 times the new number of articles, seven times more, seven time more global edits, and two times as much as their content has survived on Wikipedia. There's a link down here. I'll be posting this on SlideShare. Um, you can also uh, find a link to the pilot report on the Tea House page um, by searching Tea House on Meta Wiki. And please note that the Tea House was designed by a woman and our team consists of three women and one man. A little bit of response um, from one Wikipedian. Rit Keeper is one of our Tea House hosts. He's a Wikipedian who's very active in script development. Fabulous guy. He answers a lot of questions. He was very skeptical at first, and Rit, like many Wikipedians, wasn't too fond of the idea of changing the look and feel of Wikipedia. However, he changed his mind. The Tea House is one of the ways that I believe that Wikipedia has benefited from changing its visual appearance into a more user-friendly contemporary style. And for me, a 28% participation, 28 participation rate by women with feedback celebrating the look, feel, and friendliness is a big win. You can see my only interaction with him was saying, hell yeah, it does make a difference, this design. 
So it's not just Wikipedia. While Wikipedia can obviously use an overhaul, in my opinion, so can other Wikimedia sites. Commons, for example, is a site that struggles to find assistance in maintaining its over three million free images. If Commons can bring a more diverse community, not only will the content be better curated and maintained, but it also will thrive with, a better, with better content and a healthier environment. Anyone who's involved in Commons knows it's a very contentious, very, very, um, I mean, uh, it's a very awkward experience, especially being a woman curating commons, um, nominating content for deletion, categorizing things, because the way I, cu I categorize and curate commons is maybe different than how men might curate and, and move around commons. And it, you become very aware of your gender and who you are when you are a woman participating in commons because of there's so much female on commons when it comes to the visual experience of the images that are uploaded, there's a lot of women, a lot of naked women, a lot of women doing really weird things with their bodies. And the things you come across can be very eye-opening. And I think if we're going to make commons a more inclusive space and a more valuable tool on the internet, because it's being very underutilized, we're gonna have to do something with commons. So I think we can learn something from Pinterest. Pinterest is a social media uh, website that is image-based. By creating a call to action, we can encourage not only participation, but inspire a community to collaborate more. 74% of Pinterest users are women. Women come together to socialize and curate collections of images. How come Commons can't create calls to action and serve as a type of Pinterest for free culture? Commons is a highly underutilized source, as I said, and an experiment. And any woman involved in the Commons community knows we surely can use some backup. And I think Pinterest, you, you could do some really great things with this concept of a gallery and curation. Design is a plan for arranging elements in such a way as best to accomplish a particular purpose. Ch the great furniture designer, Charles Ames. And I think we can use that quote to help write a better, write and create a better encyclopedia. So this billboard was a campaign by the Guerrilla Girls, a group of feminist artists from the East Coast in the US. They did a survey of the representation of artists at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in the early 1990s. At the time, only 5% of the modern artists were women. However, 85% of the artwork consisted of nude women as the subject. Obviously, I'm not alone in my desire for inclusivity. While this might be almost 20 years old, those of us who work in the museum industry are still dealing with the lack of inclusion of women as artists and the tradition of women as the image. The museum world is currently struggling with its own evolution to relevancy, leaving behind the, new, the old way to embrace a new way of a collaborative public discourse and openness, with the end goal to move from being a temple and to becoming a form. One way that this is possible is by incorporating curatorial theory with feminism, which involves the redesign of space to increase participation and inviting new voices into the development of those spaces. We can help open Wikipedia to an inclusive participatory experience, not just for women, but for all underrepresented groups in, in Wikipedia. In order for that change to take place, I believe we must do four things. One, we must move beyond just Wikipedians. This practice will require that. The community is broader than that. And just because one doesn't edit, doesn't mean they aren't a part of the community. Most users of Wikipedia are the readers and don't even know what goes on behind the scenes like some of us do. By bringing in a more diverse community of people to help create a new innovative spaces of interactive encyclopedic knowledge, we can make a difference. I also believe that by examining what women of the present and past have done to break barriers and create change, we can also find influence on how to do it in Wikipedia. Two, well-researched design with inclusion and accessibility in mind. Inclusionism needs to be kept in mind and accessibility for all should be considered. And well-researched theories and design are the key, especially to getting concepts like this uh, accepted in the community, which we did with the Tea House. Three, don't be afraid of change. Wikipedians are notorious for fearing change, despite writing an encyclopedia that changes on a minute-to-minute -minute basis. To deny change is to den deny one of the five pillars of Wikipedia. Wikipedia has no firm rules. Historically, women have been breaking rules to advance, and I so see no reason on why we need to stop now. 
for acknowledge that there is a problem. This weekend has been a prime example of how we are acknowledging the problem. There's been a lot of dialogue, and I've been having a lot of it with many of you. It's been very passionate, it's been very frustrating, inspiring, exciting, and most importantly, we've been acknowledging that there is an issue. It's not even an issue, it's a genuine problem. We don't even know what will happen if we ever do succeed to close the gap. Does it even matter, and if we ever can? Will Wikipedia ever become a better place because of it? Can it? Will neutrality and other pillars be compromised because of this? By examining what Wikipedia is doing wrong and how we can make use of this amazing tool, Wikipedia, that we work with, I believe we can make Wikipedia more inclusive and not just for women, but for anyone seeking to share knowledge. Thank you very much. And thank you, Wikimedia Deutschland and the Wikimedia Foundation and the ADA Initiative and all the women who came before us. And um, yeah, I think we need a visual change and I'd like to see that happen someday. Thank you. I don't know if I should stand here if anybody wants to berate me with questions or if anybody would like to say anything or have any comments. Does any, who here actually edits Wikipedia? Like the Wikipedia itself? Wow, so only like half, half the people. How many women here edit Wikipedia? So we have four, five, maybe. Oh, I don't know if she's actually raising her hand. How many people are women who work for Wikimedia Deutschland? Do we have anyone who works for, you do? Yeah, we have a, right now. they're working right now. <laughs> we need to get more of them editing Wikipedia because I hear a lot of you guys don't edit Wikipedia. <laughs> oh yeah, Maria, you're gonna be editing by the end of today, I promise you. <laughs> so does anyone here think Wikipedia needs a change, aesthetically? Yes, oh God, so you know when he has questions because everyone agrees, I can't believe it. No, I, yeah, that's, there you go. I'm done. If anybody wants to talk or has a question or anything. Anybody? This is getting awkward. Okay. It's how much in data is the two headers? Because I haven't, I, I've seen it on your profile page. Because how embedded is it? Be, be, beta. Is it embedded? Be, oh, oh, beta. Beta or. Beta. Um, we, the tea house started in, f we started research in December. It opened in February. And it's now there. We're in phase two. So we went from working with uh, creating this really great concept to executing it into the community and dealing with the drama that came from it and then freaking everybody out because it actually worked and that people are staying on Wikipedia, which is one of our biggest problems right now. And um, so it's moving on to phase two where we're starting to work with the community to develop new tools to make it more friendlier, easier to use. and. Um, hopefully we'll be moving it into some other languages as well soon. So I'd like to see that happen, definitely. So. Dahmers, hi. So when is the Commons Tea House opening? <laughs> because uh, Commons is the most it's awkward place right now, so you should probably focus on that. I would love to see Commons have a gutting, really, like a full, serious, re I mean, I love Commons because I love visual, I love obviously, I love image, I love art, and... I could spend all day on commons just doing lots of little things that need to be done, but the community there is so rude and disrespectful and vulgar and sexist and obnoxious that I have basically stopped editing commons aside from uploading images and then going back into my hole of Wikipedia. And that's not, I, I think the only way commons is ever gonna change is if we can do something like the tea house and make it easier to use commons because it's still too complex. It's easy for me because I know what I'm doing, but if my grandma can't do it, and I think the visual editor, has anybody tested out the visual editor for English yet? Is that really, it's cool, I think, it's cool. And um, I'd love to see something like that with commons and Pinterest and tea house. We'll see, it's up to the foundation. <laughs> so right now we gotta get the English Wikipedia tea house up to speed. But the community has the power to take this and put it on comments. So all you got to do is copy and paste. If you say uh, visual change, uh, does this also incorporate functionality? Because, uh, for instance, maybe the tea house, is it only another visual layer on top of it? Or is it also does it also provide additional functionality? It, um, is this the thing on the internet, this thing known as a computer? Do we know? Is it? connected to the web, if I can use this computer here. I might actually show you the tea house really quick. Um, 
Yeah. Because we, we actually did do some things to make it a little more special, um, including Java. But I'm not a, a very good techie person when it comes to explaining these things. So, oh, hold on. <laughs> this keyboard's a little different than mine. I don't want the, aha, uh -huh. I'm getting it. There it is. So when you create an account on Wikipedia and you've been making like five to ten edits that are in good faith, like you're not a vandal or something, you um, get an invitation on your talk page to the Tea House. Right now it's manually distributed invitations. So we actually look at the people's contributions and we post a, hi, Bob, welcome to Wikipedia. Thanks for contributing. If you have problems, stop by the Tea House anytime. We're a friendly space. We want to help you out. You know, there's no dumb questions at the Tea House. And you come here. You can visit here and go to IRC, which I think is so stupid that we're using IRC in the year 2012. Because um, anyone who's old school, uh, I, I, it's like a little too, it's old stuff. Why do it, works. it works. It works, but a lot of people still don't even understand how to use it. And that's another problem. I mean, I, we have a lot of users who go, I want to chat with you guys, but how the hell do you work this thing? I haven't used, I didn't use IRC for 15 years until I did a, like a, a year ago after I met all of you guys. You can use the browser. You can, and that's what this goes to. This actually goes to the browser, but people still don't. It's too, I know we know what we're doing, but I get people all the time who go, I can't figure it out. And I go, really? Roll my eyes, but I have to remember that. There are people who. And it's ugly. And it's very, very ugly. <laughs> God, excuse me. <laughs> it's very ugly. It is very ugly. Um, but you can, right now, you can go to our, our ch web chat. Um, I, we have a fantasy of having an actual chat system, which is like, uh, would be so awesome on Wikipedia, or a little pop-up window. It's like a normal chat kind of thing. So anyway, you can, you can then choose to make a guest profile. You can see who the hosts are. Oh, who's that person? There we go. There's me and some other folks. Um, or you can go ask a question. So it is just a layer. People kind of went, oh my god, you can actually do this with wiki markup? Uh, yes, yes you can. And um, one of the really cool things, we have a Wordner, uh, Andrew Garrett, uh, actually created this. So when you're a new editor, instead of having to click the edit button, you click ask a question, and you type in a question, whatever. Well, somebody will revert my edit. <laughs> 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 and I can't use this typewriter's keyboard. <laughs> keyboard. <laughs> uh, please delete this message. Blah, blah. And so then, in order, you can't post your question until you sign in your post. I feel like a new editor right now, trying to figure out how to sign my post. Where is the tilde? <laughs> oh, God, I could do that, couldn't I? Ah, that's how this thing works. Oh shit, whatever. <laughs> it works. It's just, it's, if I had my laptop, I swear you would not think I'm an idiot. Um, but you ask the question, you sign with four tildes, you click ask my question button lights up, and then it automatically gets top posted. Ooh, it gets top posted to the tea house, not to the bottom of the page, because all of our talk pages, your new thing goes to the bottom. Well, in the majority of the internet world, things go to the top when they're new on forms and message boards. So we did this and people freaked out. Oh my God, what makes you special? New users are gonna be so confused when they go to talk pages. They're gonna be top posting everywhere and they're gonna screw up Wikipedia. Well, like no one has been, there have been no problems. And we've convinced the community to s stop complaining about it and uh, stop trying to make changes to the markup. So the new editors and within a half an hour or less, they get their question answered. And everybody gets welcomed. Hi, welcome to the tea house. People tell them how to do all these simple things, and we've had a lot of questions come through. And to answer your question an hour ago, yeah, there are some special things that we've done, and this is the most special thing so far, but that doesn't mean there can't be more to be done, you know, to make it easier and more friendly and more exciting. Yeah? It's also about culture and how Absolutely. people talk to each other. Yeah. So there's even a change in the governmental structure somehow. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. so what did you do? So 
<coughs> excuse me. Well, when we first thought about this project, um, I had done the Women in Wikimedia survey that we've talked about this weekend, um, where I interviewed 500 gabillion women who edit Wikipedia, and they, in a very non-scientific survey, and they uh, shared their opinions and thoughts about why they do and they don't edit Wikipedia. And um, I was dwelling on it, because it was a very emotional experience for me. Um, and I had a meeting in San Francisco at the foundation because I wanted to do a, do a fellowship. I wanted to see if I could try to do something. And about 30 people came, staff members, community members, all kinds of people. And we said, well, God, we just really need to have a culture change. We need people to be normal, nice human beings. And yes, it's the internet. There's dicks everywhere, as they say. Don't be a dick. Ha. Huh. But and so you're going to get jerks. And you're going to get jerks in the real world, too, right? Off the internet, because the internet's not the real world. And um, we just said, well, we just need to make sure we find the friendliest people we can on Wikipedia. Because there's always those people. Everybody knows that guy or that girl who likes to really help everybody, who welcomes all the new users, who gets all those barn stars for being super helpful. So I went and I handpicked, which is not very inclusive, but I handpicked the hosts. I said, I want you to be a host at the Tea House. Will you dedicate your time for the next three months to see if this works? And they did. And I actually built a special section. Anyone can visit it. It's not like Esperanza, if anybody knows about Esperanza in English Wikipedia. Um, and anyone can be a tea house host. And if people who come in and start answering questions who aren't being friendly and saying, hi, welcome, because everybody likes to be greeted when they go to a new place. Duh, rocket science. You know, it's very simple things. I created a host guide and a host space so the community has their own space to not only help better the tea house, but learn about how to be nice. And you find tools that they can use to kind of dumb down their responses. Because when you go to, say, the Wikipedia help desk in English, they're just like, yeah, well, here's the answer to your question, dumbass. Blah, 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 blah. And it's just very <laughs> to the point, like Wikipedians can be, but it's not very warm and cozy and calming and makes you feel stupid. Or they go and do it for you when you ask to learn how to do something, which really pisses me off. So I said, don't just go do things for them. Explain how they can do it themselves, because new editors want to edit. That's why they're asking how to do these things. So we created this space, explicit about what our goals and our scope is, you know, are. We put a human face on Wikipedia. We welcome women in other groups who are traditionally underrepresented. We aim to be specific, personal, and friendly to all of our guests. We want to reach out to new editors. We're peer support. And then we created, myself mainly, but also with the help of the community, these pages which basically talk about your responsibilities as a host and how to make sure that the project is a success. You should invite, try to invite at least 20 new editors each week. Visit the Q&A page to help new editors. After you reply, inform them on the, uh, that they have a response. I mean, and the cool thing is we created a template for this, you know, a talkback template, and now the help desk is doing it. They created their own talkback template. Community, it's, it's changing. People are changing to realize that there's something happening here, and they want to be a part of it. And even if they want to still answer questions at the help desk, they're starting to use our stuff. We re I rewrote the five pillars to make them simpler to understand, because it sounds funny, but they're kind of overly dramatic in so many ways. So I just kind of rewrote them to make them a little simpler and, you know more enjoyable to understand and not all rigid and unfriendly. Um, we actually created how-to guides that have talking points where people can say, when someone says, how do I create a redirect? We created sort of a dumbed down, really simple explanation on how to do it. And the host went and have filled in. Here's Trev J has his own reply on how to do it. And it's benefited a lot of us. And we've all kind of learned that being friendly is working and we're retaining editors. So how can we do this on a larger mass scale and just stop interacting with the jerks. That's my method, too, so the vocal minority. What are your ideas for scaling this idea? Because I really like the TRs. But uh, what I was thinking of when I'm listening to you, I have never heard of it before. OK, I'm not a target group. But uh, what are, <laughs> but, but yeah, how can you really scale it? Uh, what could Wikimedia, the foundation, do to make it m more prominent or to expand it? What, what are the ideas in well, that since regard? Since I mean, this is a foundation-funded project, and we've been really lucky because, you know, the community gets incredibly freaked out when Wikipedia the foundation comes in and goes, 
we're going to come and do something to the interface and without you knowing. So we tried to make it as open as possible and let people know what we were working on. So we've been winning with that. And we've garnered some respect from Wikipedians who, and I, I, I mean, in, in English Wikipedia, there are some people who you just pray to God won't show up. And they all showed up. <laughs> and we were able to somehow convince them and the community kind of supported the project so much that everyone said, oh, we get it. Okay, the tea house is cool. And the foundation doesn't do everything bad and evil. Um, so we said, okay, well, we're going to do this pilot. We're going to put out our pilot report. Um, and we did a really detailed pilot report. And it's basically convinced people that we're doing something right and we're going to keep going with it. So for phase two, um, we are... Here's a little, s there's the pilot report. That's on Wikipedia. Um, for phase two, we, um, this is a really cool quote from Ryan Vesey down there, I love it, um, saying that's the best thing he's ever seen happen on this encyclopedia since its creation, basically. Um, or since he started editing, excuse me. So we're moving on to phase two. We're working with the community in English Wikipedia. And th there's already been um, interest from some of the Indic languages to start incorporating it. Arabic. Uh, right now has, it, has an experiment called the Tea House, which is basically they've localized our Tea House and they're kind of experimenting with ways to try to incorporate it into the community. I think because we didn't want everyone to think it was a, people were afraid it would be a permanent thing. And it is now, sorry. Mm -hmm. But people were really mad. They didn't want it in welcome templates because on English Wikipedia, you know, you welcome people as you do with most, with, um, <laughs> German does it too. Hi, welcome, and it's a really boring template that tells you all these links to policies. And um, they refused, the community revolted when we tried to add it to the welcome template, the generic most popular used one, because they said that this project doesn't count because it's still not like an official Wikipedia thing and that it could disappear and fail. And now they don't want to like talk to us now that we've succeeded, they, they like, don't, still don't want to add it on. So I don't know, you know, we're trying to find ways where we can make it more global and we need, all I can say is that if people want to work with us, they just need to drop by my talk page and say, hey, or email me and say, we want to use it and experiment with it in German Wikipedia. Or the tea house might not be the right name for your space, you know, for your culture or community. That's not really a good answer, I guess. I don't know how we're going to figure it out, but that's part of the dialogue. So, <laughs> and right now, we're sc I'd say we, are, we have scalable, good data to back us up, and uh, we have a lot of it. And um, whatever. I'd like to see it on a broader level. <laughs> Would the Germans have interest? Silence among the community now. Because <laughs> it'd be great to have it in, in German. I mean, hello, you guys are the second biggest. I'm sure you could use some help too. We all can. I think there's um, an attempt to do something similar uh, on the German Wikipedia, which is also called um, the Tea House, I think. Um, which I think is inspired by your project, at least, by um, some female editors. Huh. But um, I don't really know how far this is going and what the intentions are and who's really involved in it. Mm -hmm. And I've come across several times on the site, but it wasn't as intriguing as yours. But I'll have a look at it. Yeah, if you want to even email me a link to it, or I guess yeah, I can sure. try to find it, that'd be really cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a, cause, and, and that's just it. I mean, people have said this is a really cool idea, but not everybody knows how to do all this. I mean, I found I, Heather Walls, who did the design for the hackathon um, pages. I don't know if they, she did it also for the German, but um, for the hackathons in San Francisco and stuff. And I saw her design. I said, oh my God, you could do that to a Wikipedia page? Because it it's black and it's like. Yes, and she did the same thing. Yeah, it's so cool. And yeah. I went, I want that, you know, and threw a big stink about it and was like, I want her to design a tea house. And she did. And without her help, oh God, my tea house would look like a normal boring Wikipedia page of a picture of a teacup. And, <laughs> you know, if they want us to support this kind of concept, I'd love to be able to know who's doing it. And, um, it was actually, the idea for the tea house was sort of inspired in Portuguese Wikipedia. They have a coffee shop, and that's one of the most contentious Wikipedias on earth. Portuguese Wikipedia has a very interesting community of people who like to fight a lot. And um, the coffee shop isn't like the tea house. It doesn't look like the tea house, but um, maybe they'll get, want to use the tea house layout sometime, so. Any more questions or contributions? Mm. Thank you.
Yes, thank you very much for your talk. Um, Thanks for being as here. far as I understood you, you said, first of all, we have to have a change in culture and talking to each other also on the net and on Wikipedia, especially your comments. On the other hand, you also um, pronounced that there is a um, really important interrelation between design and how people talk to each other. Mm -hmm. And um, as far as I see the tea house, it has some functionality, Wikipedia doesn't. On the other hand, um, there's a lot of efforts in trying, for example, to um, yeah, um, improve the talk pages, think of tools like Wikitrust and so on, or redesign it. What's your take on it? What is the, are there other examples beyond Wikipedia you would sa say that's the way we can enhance also through this design and tools um, the way people talk to each other on talk pages? I know um, when we first were brainstorming at the Tea House, we wanted to use liquid threads, um, which uses a top posting system and is more like tr a kind of a traditional form. Um, oh, God, there's a website. And I know someone here is going to know it. It's you ask a question, and uh, not Yahoo answers or whatever, but it's the, uh, it's an, what was it? Quora. Quora. Yeah, 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 Quora. I'm like, who said that? <laughs> yes, Quora. Um, I, I hope this is how we spell it. Uh, no. Uh, there it is. Did I get it? Well, I, I don't have an account, but um, you, uh, ask a question and oh gosh it's top posted also and it's very slick and very simple and easy and it's not all wiki markup I think we need to change the title of the edit button to something maybe someday a different look a different style um, I think Quora and, and the, the way it works and I like the concept of liquid threads I think it can definitely evolve um, into something more usable ah. And um, I, I don't really know what else right now because I don't really, which is strange that I've created this, helped help create this, but I don't really hang out and do message boards and forums anymore um, in my time. I socialize on Wikipedia, I guess you could say. Um, but if you go to our talk page, it's still the same old. Oh, yeah, look at that sexy stuff right there. This is, this is not a place to ask questions about Wikipedia. Even that's not friendly. I mean, like, you idiot, you're in the wrong place. Go to the tea house. Um, I don't know. If you, anybody has better ideas, I'd love to know, you know. But, of course, you have to get the community's approval in order to incorporate anything that can make the talk page a universal thing, you know, change. I don't know. Well, they already added the add a new section button. Yeah, there, oh, yeah, there is the add, add a new section button, which is good. But I still think it's stupid that it goes to the bottom. I've always thought that was stupid, but there must have been a reason. I just don't think it's, <laughs> it's a, good, a good thing. So, why, why do we have to be so different than everybody else in a way? Even though Wikipedia is really special, beautiful, and wonderful, I think we really need to start to see what other people are doing right in order to uh, survive. Any more questions? Thanks for the really interesting talk. Um, one of the, most of the suggestions you actually make are reducing the number of options that um, the that the editors have in the end. Yeah. Um, the, uh, one of the wonderful things, but equally scary things about wikis is that you can basically do anything you want, um, which means that most people just get scared because they don't know what they actually really want to do. They just want yeah. to do something simple and um, they don't really want to use the power of the wiki. Mm -hmm. And many of the suggestions that you've given and I guess that you would further give um, actually reduce this number of possibilities and um, tighten in the special, uh, specific workflows mm -hmm. and make it at the same time simpler to use, but also um, take away things from the editors that they could have done before. And I don't think that something like Wikipedia could have developed the way it did if it was like this from the beginning, mm -hmm. to have it I much agree. tied down. Um, would you be saying that now it's a time to actually take away those freedoms from many editors or um, in order to become more inclusive, to become more uh, accessible to uh, a wider majority or is um, or is there some way of 
having both communities there, which I don't really see right now how this would work. Uh, that's something I've been trying to figure out also. I think that there's a possibility for that. I mean, we have skins uh, on Wikipedia. You know, you can, you don't, nobody knows they're there unless you are an experienced Wikipedian, but you can choose your, your skin and they're not mind-blowing, life-changing experiences. They still look like the internet of 1995. Um, I, I do think that there are ways where we, experienced editors who like to do our things, use our scripts, play with our tools, and whatever we like to do, write our articles, a, a way to save that and still keep it what it is. Even an option to, do you want to have an old school Wikipedia skin where it's the same layout we've known for 10 years? And I, I really don't know yet either. I, I have to be honest. It's something, I, when I was writing this, I went, well, how the hell would we do this? But I think that there's a possibility. If, if there's so many things that we do online, why can't we have an option for two types of, of it, a different type of visual experience of Wikipedia? You know, the old school and the new school. Um, I think that there's a way to make it look more updated and attractive and not take away those f the freedoms that we have as Wikipedians, um, whether it's with the visual editor, which I think is really cool, um, or it's all the traditional things that Wikipedians are good at. And if you still want to have your old talk page with your bottom posting, I'm sure there's a way to make that happen. And keep it, maybe. We don't need to get rid of that, but I, I don't know yet. I don't know. I mean, I've, I don't know. This would be the kind of thing we'd have to have that conversation that I'm, re I'm requesting, you know, with community members, with designers, with readers, potential editors, to kind of say, how can we make it happen where everyone can be happy? and live in a happy land of Wikipedia that's nice and looking and still educational and valuable and all that good stuff. I don't know. Yep. I, I was wondering how, um, how sustainable this might be. I mean, obviously it's new and we, you don't know yet how sustainable it is. But the interesting question would be, um, is it enough to um, to get a more diverse community um, to participate at the beginning? Um, will they need this structure um, if they become experienced editors? Um, will they still use this structure or is it only important at the beginning? Are you referring to the tea house or just my the tea cry for no, change? No, the, the tea house. The tea house. Um, well, the, of course, new editors graduate, I guess you could kind of say, and they just go off and they maybe never come back to the tea house. Um, I think if you need it, you'll need it. And if you don't, you don't. Um, it's sustainable because the community is finally calling it their own. Um, we were afraid that if we weren't there maintaining it, because I've been sort of the community organizer for the project, I was really afraid, because you know, you create something, uh, you have that ownership over it, it's your baby. And I was like, oh God, no one's gonna wanna maintain this. The hosts are gonna go, oh, this was cool, and then disappear you know, when the pilot reports out and the community won't care about it anymore. Well, now they're all like, how do we integrate a chat? How do we do this? I mean, this little live editing in the Tea House web chat was added by one of our hosts, like the other day. And he did that himself. He added it there and it fits in really well with the layout. He's not a designer. He's just an awesome Wikipedian who's a little savvy with this stuff. Um, I think because the community's seeing it's working, they're considering it sustainable. And a desi they desire to make it sustainable now. And um, I, I do think new editors will come and go, and, and new editors are now answering questions as well. And they're also now taking on the role of answering questions and being hosts. So just because someone's only been on Wikipedia and made a small amount of edits you know, for a few months doesn't mean that they aren't gaining that experience too. So it's been kind of a nice cycle. People who go on from being new editors have started to become active participants in creating the Tea House and making it a sustainable project. It's up to the community how sustainable it'll be. If they don't want it anymore, it'll just be another chunk of dead space waiting for deletion. Let's hope that doesn't happen. No. Any other questions or contributions? Then, um, <laughs> thank you. So Thanks, everybody. Thanks for the conversation.